It is a Patriots Friday, and Juwan Bentley is brought to you this morning by Shaw's and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh by Elite Vodka. Drink Elite Vodka responsibly and by findmassmoney.gov. And he joins us on the Harbor One Hotline, our guy, Juwan Bentley. Hey, Juwan. How's it going? How you doing this morning? I'm all good, man. No complaints on this end. Awesome. Well, on the... This team is 0-2, and and on the outside, some, like Jermaine Wiggins, are calling this game on Sunday a must-win. Do you guys feel that way as a team? Man, each game is a must-win for us, but uh, in particular, this is the next one up, so definitely I would consider it a must-win as well. Hmm. Jawan, when you look at how you guys have been playing defensively, I think you guys have done a, a really good job against two really good offenses. Now you're going to have a game where a quarterback that obviously struggled a little bit um, last week, he struggled against you guys. What's your approach mentally from a defensive standpoint uh, to try to make things uh, very uncomfortable for Zach Wilson? Uh, we just got to continue to play our game. We got to uh, just make sure we don't allow uh, multiple plays to happen and things like that. We just got to go and play a good assignment football. Uh, and I think the pieces will lie where they may, and I think we'll do a pretty good job. Uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, we just got to make sure everybody's just on the same page, everybody doing their job, good communication, all the good things that it takes to just win a football game. Jawan, I heard you say that you felt like the team got off to a hell of a start when it came to prepping for the Jets. Has that continued throughout the week, and how confident do you feel going into the weekend? Yeah, I think we definitely uh, put some put some great practices together. Uh, we just – the hay is never in the barn for us. We're always just constantly working, uh, just trying to get to it and improve and just find little things that we can get better at uh, defensively and offensively as well as special teams. So we just we got a few more days to kind of uh, fine-tune some things, but we're definitely on the right track. You know, what we do on the radio and in the media is speculate, and there was some speculation this week that there was a, a player-only meeting after that game on Sunday night, and maybe you had been the guy who who called that. I wanted to uh, give you the opportunity to share if that's uh, if that's what happened, and and uh, if so, how, how that went. Uh, well, when it comes to players only meetings and things like that, we don't really we ain't speaking on those too much because those just stay in house. We uh, it's, it's 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 for us, and it's uh. Yeah, like I said, we're just gonna keep that in house. We we're not we're not gonna speak too much on that. Uh but at the end of the day we all on the same page and we just look to just constantly get better as a team, uh just taking steps forward in the right direction. Jawan, one of the things that you guys did really well last year is you were able to create turnovers and obviously put pressure on the quarterback and get some sacks. Uh you look at this year, you know, may, that's an area that you probably want to see more improvement. What do you guys have to do to, you know, start getting some of those results that you had last year uh, with the turnovers and sacks this year? Uh, well, I would say to the past two teams, Craig, we played against some some great offenses, and we was able to kind of. I think every game brings something different. Every game you want to have different talented players, so we just got to find our, our top priority. So at the end of the day, we just got to make sure that we're just all doing our assignments. And at the end of the day, that kind of leads into turnovers and uh, creating big, huge stops in the game. Uh, we've been able to put some put some drives together. Sometimes it ends in sacks. Sometimes you just get off the football field. At the end of the day, we just want to put our offense in a good position uh, to be able to get some points, and that's all the guys. Juwan, uh, big story this week, obviously, Pop Douglas fumbling and then getting benched. Just curious of the reaction in the room to, you know, the the – the reaction of Bill Belichick in placing a guy like that who was probably the most explosive player you guys had on the field that night on the bench for the rest of the game after he made that mistake? Uh, we trust Pop. We, def- we definitely do. Uh, he's a dynamic player for us, and we, we all rally in behind him, and that's that's kind of all I'm going to say on that one. But we definitely, as a team, we have his back. And, uh, yeah, obviously that's, that was just one play out of, out, of, out of many plays that we could do better on and improve upon. Uh, so as far as us, as far as we're concerned, uh, we we rally behind him, and we trust him to make whatever plays that he has to make. Mac had said that you know the team was rallying around him to make sure that he he felt good about himself, knew that he was a good player uh, for such a young guy. Obviously, offense and defense, uh, you're probably not in the same uh, meetings all the time, but you are a captain of that team. Did you have to go have a conversation? Do you make sure that the the young guys on the team uh, are in the right headspace going into a game after a tough one like that? 
I mean, at the end of the day, we're not gonna blow this out, out of proportion. You made a uh, obviously you don't want you don't want to lose the ball and things like that. But it, he he won't be the first person to do it, and he won't be the last. It's a part of the game. So we, that's why we play the game. You just want to limit those things as, as much as possible. So at the end of the day, we all gonna rally behind him, regardless, because uh, we we need him out there. He's he's one of our dynamic players. We just gotta uh, kind of put that behind us and keep moving forward. Because there's nothing you can do about it now. Well, Juwan, Bill's a lot nicer now than when I played. So, what what's <laughs> kind of the message? I don't, Ju- Juwan might not agree with that. Is but you think Bill is nicer than when Wiggy played? I won't confirm or deny that. <laughs> <laughs> Believe well me, I, trained. I'll confirm well, it when, now that I don't no longer play. Um, just you know, now it's you know. Sometimes you can go inside and practice when it's raining when the uh, uh, in the bubble. But what's some of the advice? Because you've been in the system a long time the advice that you give to younger players who come from places or even guys that come from different places to learn and adjust to Bill Belichick's style of coaching? Uh, well, I would say anytime you transition in teams in general, uh, whether it's team to team in the NFL or just coming from college to the league, you have to kind of put away all the things that you've learned because everything's pretty much going to be different uh, when it comes to just terminology and all the stuff that you thought you knew or just learn the different schemes and kind of broaden your horizons when it comes to just knowing football and just learning a lot of ball. Uh, and, and coming here, you're going to learn a lot of football, and you're going to have to unlearn a lot of things as well. So it kind of just comes along with the territory. But I think that that's the, that's the, that's the main thing as far as when you change it from place to place anyway. You can't necessarily, all the terms, don't necessarily roll over to each team that you go to. So you got to kind of roll with the punches and adapt. Oh, here we go. Looks like it appears it's time for the professor's corner with Shine. Go ahead, Shine. Thanks, Greg. Uh, Juwan, uh, you know, the Jets' plan really wasn't Zach Wilson, a quarterback. He's kind of stumbled into this with the Aaron Rodgers injury, and we hope Aaron gets better and all that. But at the end of the day, you know, when you look at it, what does Zach Wilson, if really anything, do well that you guys feel like you have to focus on when you're defending him? Well, I definitely don't want to don't want to get it twisted too much. Uh, Zach Wilson is a him to be a quarterback in his league in general. It's not easy, so he definitely uh, he makes it he makes his plays as far as th- extending plays and finding an open guy as much as he can when he when he's able to roll out of the pocket. He's a dynamic player, uh, so we just got to make sure we on our p's and q's as a defense to kind of make things happen and just causing a lot of confusion and disguises and things like that just to make him think. All right, well, we'll let you get back to work and get ready to head out on the road. Week three, Juwan Bentley, thanks for taking the time. We'll talk to you again next week. All righty. All right, there he is.